good morning guys welcome to my tutorial and uh, today uh, I'll talk about a uh, goal seek feature and uh, I have already uploaded uh, two videos in the series and that you can go to my YouTube channel and you can click on the playlist and you will see here uh, on what if analysis I have already uploaded two videos you can watch and don't forget to watch my recent series on the dashboard making and uh, it actually tells you you know how exactly you can prepare the dashboard what exactly you know it takes to uh, basically uh, develop that idea you know so that you can uh, uh, sort of you know develop that one page uh, wherein user can come and you know he can actually check all the things so there are another uh, playlist as well as you can see here I have uh, uploaded uh, the videos on the arrays on the excel on the chart and pivots uh, recently i have covered my waterfall series so you must watch that because that's the most fascinating chart i have ever come across you know i was uh, ever ever since i started working on excel waterfall charts are extremely very very nice uh, you know to look at and uh, also uh, in terms of you know representing the data points they are actually wonderful anyways uh, we will we'll actually uh, here to talk about the goal seek feature and this is going to be my series number three uh, I have already uploaded two videos so must watch that videos in case if you're looking for the base you know uh, the I have discussed it from the very scratch and uh, uh, so before watching this video I mean you can watch this video but at the same time just go and uh, watch those two videos as well uh, so what exactly we are doing today is uh, since this is going to be series number three so I have made it little you know uh, uh, tricky and uh, the level of this uh, video would be the intermediate level it's not the basic level as I had in my previous two videos so what are we exactly going to do is uh, suppose you have a target here of the bank uh, the transactions that you're supposed to do in the 10,000 and this is something uh, you know uh, that the client is very rigid on that and he says that this is the business I can give you you know on the condition that uh, every time uh, you know you are supposed to actually give me let's say uh, I would say that 10, 10 minutes of the time which he says that on every transaction is going to be taken so according to that uh, I have calculated that you know the number of people which I would be requiring is uh, 208 right so the calculation which I have used is now I'm running a business I'm a vendor for this uh, client A let's say the bank A and I go to them and I say that you know uh, that um, I have a brilliant staff I have all the people you know who are actually commerce graduate and I'm going to start the business so I have all the setup infrastructure prepared what I want is I want a business from you so the client says that you know and uh, uh, that you know I can give you 10,000 uh, business every day which you need to actually file you know you need to submit these transactions on transaction you can take it anything you know maybe 10,000 calls if it is all about the call center or if 10,000 might be something you know that you need to actually add 10,000 profiles to your database you know taking the customer information and whatever you know <coughs> that's just an assumption I mean to say uh, it's a, just a hypothetical situation which I am taking in order to explain you this uh, purpose of this video the goal seek feature uh, so he says that I can give you uh, lesser than this this so that's my standard in case if you want then I can give you further 20,000 and then 30,000 this is how actually I give my business to the you know vendors so then I uh, you know thought about the proposal and I came back and I said I calculated it that if I if in my shift you know it's a nine hours of shift and excluding one hour for break and lunch you know whatever the time is there my employees are going to work for me for the eight hours mm -hmm. so what I did is I actually calculated the overall time so if one transaction takes 10 minutes then 10,000 transactions would take actually this this much of time you know which is I think uh, one lakh minutes right so in order to uh, uh, you know spend this much of time I really need actually 208 people how I calculated it uh, I can check that I multiplied one transaction time with the 10,000 so I'm getting the you know one lakh minutes and then it is going to be divided by uh, you know the total eight hours and the minutes which I have in a day you know which is 60 I multiplied this one hour eight hour with 60 so you know I will get my uh, the total time which I can actually take from my people in a day you know so 480 minutes would be there per person so in order to get 10 lakh or uh, 1 lakh minutes <coughs> what I did is I divided this by this so 208 people one exactly when they'll come and they'll you know come every day so what will happen is this 208 
uh, people when they give the eight hours of login and of course in order to convert this into minutes I multiplied it with you know 60 I get this much of the transaction which can be easily done now the point is that suppose you <coughs> have a target of right now according to your cost your company is newly built so you have a let's say the budget of 70 people only right so your budget is only for the 70 manpower you can't hire more than 70 people that's your budget and uh, so according to that now what all chances you have to grab this business right so client is very stubborn and he says that I'm not gonna actually you know bring this down so this will remain as it is this will be permanent this will be fixed so what all I can do is now I can either increase the timers or maybe I can try to reduce the time per transaction right so these are the two options I have either I should do this in, uh, increase the hours so that my time given by per person should be increased and I can actually reach you know to this number or maybe I can uh, you know reduce I uh, think of reducing this time per transaction right so the so that the total time being invested on this uh, transaction you know 10,000 transactions should be reduced uh, so the 8 hours is already you know it's a 9 hour shift so 8 hours is something which I expect so I really can't make it 10 hours because then I will uh, be facing you know a lot of attrition uh, people may actually you know give the resignations because and that too you know against the law you know uh, my labor law the, the state where I'm working so I really can't take much of a chance on that so what I have option is that maybe I can start off reducing this AHT you know so in order to do that what you can do is you can use this uh, what if analysis feature which is under this data tab and go to the what if analysis and go to the goal C now here uh, as I've already explained what exactly these values mean so I'll not explain it again uh, but just uh, very quick information uh, FI, FI to you that set cell is actually a cell which you want to set you know which you want to change so I'll set this and to value what exactly your budget is 70 so in case if you have a budget of 70 obviously you would like to reduce the AST you know the time uh, average handling time you can say or the time per transaction you can say so I'll press ok now this is what exactly you know we were looking for so it means you have to drastically improve upon your time per transaction you have to bring a lot of lot of speed so maybe you would like to give them a you know a lot of uh, training you would like to you know train their people so hard and uh, you would like to hire a people you know who whose IQ level is actually very strong very good they are very intelligent so that you know 10 minutes of transaction which was given by the client it can be reduced to 3 minutes and only then you you know you will be able to uh, you know work with 70 people and can actually accomplish this 10,000 uh, of the target now you can check here now the workload the total workload is now just 33,600 minutes previously it was showing you know like 1 lakh minutes and similarly now if you do this you have a 70 people and uh, these 70 people if uh, they are coming for the 8 hours and in order to convert it into the minutes because I have this time based transaction in minutes I'll multiply it with the 60 that's what exactly I need right so this is how you can actually you know use this uh, goal seek feature which is which is available in what if analysis and it can actually make your life quite easy guys right so you can further you know do uh, maybe uh, further more calculations you can even look out for the you know that what if, if further I want to go down or maybe if three minutes is you know very uh, very less you know it's something which is not achievable it's not something which seems to me you know practical option so maybe then I can further go ahead and uh, I can click on the what if analysis and I you know select this cell and maybe then I would say that okay so possibly maybe I like to hire you know out of the stretch uh, maybe uh, I like to hire let's say 80 people you know I'm just going little out of budget but that's fine because client is paying me well and if I get this but you know deal then maybe some more banks you know will approach me so with that approach in my mind I'm ready to you know spend little extra on my current budget and so I say that instead of 70 uh, let it be you know 80 so we'll go with the 80 and we want to see that now how exactly this is going to be affected by this because three minutes is something which according to my survey you know I have my own uh, analytical steam 
which sits and they you know go in the market and they check how the trend goes and they say that you know three minutes is not possible at all you know because the transaction actually would take a lot of time so three minutes is impossible so if something is impossible why would I you know plan my uh, you know the setup on that right obviously it would be like something you know that you are already uh, uh, you know have uh, knowing the consequences you know and knowing the loss you are still you know going ahead and you're trying to you know get the business so that's I would say that's not the exactly the correct approach so what you can do is you you know uh, decided in the meeting you called all the top shot people you know the upper management and you sat with them and you said that all right so let's put the put it like this way three minutes is not possible so let's hire 10 more people and let's see where it goes you know what exactly the time per transaction can be you know we can actually evaluate so that's why I have said this by changing this before just give me this 80 and the result is in front of you so now it says that the four minutes is something which is exactly there right so that's that's how now you can actually you know do the thing so ideally it is even not four minutes but it is three min uh, you know three point eight four so three minutes eight second so that's exactly uh, something you know which you if if you still feel that that is not feasible you know maybe you like to go ahead and you can you know further think of making it let's say maybe 82 and you can further come here and you know can press ok so it's gonna increase the time but 4 minutes is still there with the decimal number is increased so maybe you come back here and you see that you know that let it be 85 and then let's see what exactly variation will it bring you know so that's how you know you can actually check a lot of things uh, so maybe you uh, go with you know whatever the figure I mean you have in your mind if you go with the hundred people then what would be the AST so that's something you know you can plan accordingly so this is where exactly the goal seek feature comes handy right so I hope guys you like the video and uh, do subscribe to my channel and this is my email ID write me in in case if you have any questions and uh, let me know in case if you would like to have uh, you know a hardcore advanced Excel training along with the VBA let me know it that's my email id you can write me and definitely uh, i will surely you know go ahead and upload the video on the same right thank you so much for watching and have a very good day bye bye